A massive amount of water was released from Lake Powell last April, causing Lake Mead downstream to rise a couple feet in under a week. We covered this high flow experiment and the surprising boost it brought to Lake Mead downstream. But now, a new report from the Bureau of Reclamation found serious issues with the piping used in those operations. A high flow release experiment, which was intended to help solve problems downstream, is further compounding problems on an already taxed Colorado River system. Stay tuned as we examine some new, yet old problems inside the Glen Canyon Dam. A recent memo from the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation highlighted some serious pipe damage issues inside the Glen Canyon Dam. But these issues are not new or unique to the dam. In fact, these same issues surfaced in the spillways during the heavy flood years of 1983 and 84, the last time both Hoover Dam and Glen Canyon Dam spilled. More on that in a minute. To understand the issues, you have to understand there are three ways to release water from Lake Powell through the Glen Canyon Dam. The regular operational way is through the penstocks, which send water to the turbine room in order to generate electricity. The second, slightly lower outlet is the River Works Bypass. And the third emergency method is the spillways. The spillways are able to release a whopping 276,000 cubic feet per second at full pool, but they can only release water at or near that level. Below that, the penstocks are able to release 33,200 cubic feet per second, and at the bottom, the Riverworks Outlet Bypass can only handle 15,000 cubic feet per second. The penstocks, being the method of generating hydroelectric power, which was the primary purpose of building the Glen Canyon Dam, require a water level elevation of at least 3,490 feet to be operational. This is where the problems start. Over the last several years, a Colorado River system plagued by drought, overuse, and mismanagement fell near to the levels where the penstock piping would no longer be functional. This means the USBR would have to rely on the River Works outlet, the only functional piping left, to deliver all the water to its 30 million plus users downstream in Nevada, Arizona, California, and beyond. The River Works outlet piping, however, was not designed for regular or prolonged use. It was mainly intended for extreme conditions, or scheduled high flow release experiments like the ones we saw last April which usually only lasts two to three days. The river works outlet would not be able to sustain the flow of the river, especially now that this new issue is found. And a reliance on this piping to provide the needs of the lower basin would be catastrophic. So what is this nagging pest on the Glen Canyon Dam's back now? It's a tiny old problem called cavitation. Cavitation is caused by the formation of small vapor bubbles within accelerated water that eventually implode and send out shockwaves. The cumulative effects of these tiny implosions can be devastating, as they can produce a ripple effect down the entire length of the piping. During flooding in 1983, cavitation was the culprit behind major damage in the spillways at Glen Canyon Dam. Inspections afterwards found a 30 to 40 foot hole carved out of the spillway concrete. We did a whole video called Behind the Drought 2 covering this event and how they fixed it. If you are interested in learning more, I'll leave a link down below. Cavitation issues were the same thing found now in the Riverworks outlet piping after the last high flow release experiment, leading to even more concerns about the dam's ability to function properly. Due to these new problems, engineers have recommended reducing water flow from Glen Canyon Dam to keep the penstocks online and avoiding prolonged use of the Riverworks outlet piping to prevent further damage. Monitoring Lake Powell's water level is critical now for the USBR to avoid nearing the minimum power pool level, below which water cannot be released without using the River Works outlet and risking further damage to the entire system. Should water levels fall below the penstocks and the River Works outlets are unusable, no water would be able to flow down the Colorado anymore. Accordingly, the likelihood that the USBR conducts another high flow release experiment for its perceived benefits this year now remains uncertain. In the short term, however, it looks like the solution will be once again to starve Lake Mead downstream in order to prop up water levels at Lake Powell. This will keep the penstocks in service while concrete solutions like a dam bypass for water and sediment are discussed, thus kicking the can down the road once again. We saw these same piping issues emerge back in 2022 during the worst of the drought, and it led to the lowest water levels at Lake Mead since its creation. Unfortunately, 
Not much has changed since then, and the antique plumbing within Glen Canyon Dam remains. It is yet to be seen what lasting solutions, if any, will emerge to this ongoing problem. Let us know if you have any ideas in the comments below. And if you learned something of value here today or found this video interesting, please give us a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more. Until next time, stay hydrated, stay happy out there, and we'll see you soon.